After a fortnight surrounded by a gender controversy, Imani Kelif became an Olympic gold medalist for the first time as she defeated the world champion Yang Lu of China in the women's 66 kg category by unanimous decision. The greatest victory of the 25-year-old's career was sealed in jubilant scenes at Roland Garros as the Algerian diaspora showed up in numbers, filling out court Philippe Chatrier and raucously supporting her for every second of the gold medal bound. Kelif is Algeria's first Olympic gold medalist in women's boxing and their first boxer overall to win gold since 1996. As for whether I qualify or not, whether I am a woman or not, I have made many statements in the media, Kelif said after her victory. I am fully qualified to take part in this competition. I'm a woman like any other woman. I was born a woman, I lived a woman, I competed as a woman, there's no doubt about that. The detractors are enemies of success, that is what I call them. And that also gives my success a special taste because of these attacks. Kelif is one of two boxers. Lin Yu Ting fights in the 57 kg final on Saturday. Who has been subjected to a gender eligibility row following their bans from competing in the 2023 Boxing World Championships after both failed a gender eligibility test administered by the International Boxing Association. Before these events, the International Olympic Committee took the decision to strip the EBA of recognition as boxing's governing body and expel it from the Olympics over a number of issues, including corruption, financial transparency and governance. Three days after the Algerian diaspora in France had rallied around Kelif in her semi-final battle, making their support clear after a difficult two weeks, they returned late on Friday even louder. After the first three finals of the night had finished, the 15,000-strong crowd came alive at the first mention of Khalif's name. Chants of, Imani, Imani, echoed around the stadium, my honor is intact now, Kelif said. But the attacks that I heard in social media were extremely bad and they are meaningless and they impact the dignity of people and I think that now people's thinking has changed. As for the EBA, since 2018 I have been boxing under their umbrella. They know me very well, they know what I'm capable of, they know how I've developed over the years but now they are not recognized anymore. They hate me and I don't know why. I send them a single message. With this gold medal, my dignity, my honor is above everything else. It was Yang who tried to surprise her opponent by departing from her usual style and forcing herself on the front foot. Even as Yang landed some blows and imposed herself early on, Kelif countered Yang brilliantly. With the first round judged unanimously in her favor, Kelif grew in confidence. Even as Yang drew on her experience in the final round, Kelif kept herself out of trouble. At the final bell, the pair hugged and shook hands with each of their opposing coaching teams. They hugged again after Kelif was pronounced the victor. After an elaborate celebration, a joyful Kelif leapt onto the shoulders of one of her coaches to be carried around the stadium as the crowd roared. Kelif and the three other medalists emerged shortly after for the medal ceremony with most of the crowd staying in their seats in order to scream the Algerian national anthem.